Today, the population of the Crimean Peninsula is predominantly Christian. About 70% of the population identify with Orthodox Christianity. 15% are Muslims of Crimean Tatar origin. And a tiny Catholic community makes up only about 1% of the population of 2 million people. For centuries, Christians of Roman and Byzantine rites have coexisted together on this land and venerated their common patron saint, Pope Clement. The capital of Crimea is the city of Simferopol, which is located in the center of the peninsula. The spiritual successor of Pope St. Clement, Bishop Yatsik Puil, welcomes us to the parish of the Dormition of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which is the de facto cathedral of the Crimean Peninsula. The history of Crimea is very rich. All major cities such as Sevastopol, Feodosia, Kerch, were founded by Catholics of the Latin Rite. In the Middle Ages, there were 17 parishes in Feodosia and they had their own bishop from Genoa. And then there were many Germans living there too. The Tsar once invited them to inhabit the steppes of Crimea. He gave land for free, so the whole villages came from the Czech Republic, Poland and Germany. There were many Germans, Poles and Czechs. After the Second World War, the Italians and Germans left. Now there are the descendants of the Polish and the Czech populations. The composition of the faithful is slightly changed since the 2014 change of power when Russia took control of the Crimean Peninsula. We asked Bishop Puil how this has changed the lives of Catholics here. This is a good question because the event in 2014 had very much divided the local people and especially those who have relatives in Ukraine because some patriotic Ukrainians were more concerned about Ukraine than Crimea and at first they were very hurt. But we, the Catholic Church, always call for peace, love and forgiveness, and we try through prayer and our ministry to heal the wounds. We always emphasize that we do not engage in politics. We don't support nationalism or development of a proselytism. We are here to help everyone be a good person, the Orthodox a good Orthodox, and the Catholic a good Catholic. We are here to build the Kingdom of God. Under the new government, all religious organizations were required to re-register under Russian law. This also affected the Catholic Church. To decide the fate of Catholics in Crimea, Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Pietro Parolin personally raised the issue while in Russia on August 23, 2017, in a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The two leaders reached a compromise. The Vatican declared the peninsula to be a pastoral district of the Holy See, and Vladimir Putin, in turn, ordered land to be set aside for the construction of a Catholic cathedral in Simferopol and that the cathedral of Sevastopol be returned to the Catholic Church. It is made in connection with the fact that the situation is not fully resolved in the political sphere and therefore at such moments the Apostolic See creates the pastoral district or the Apostolic Administrator or Exarchate. It's something temporary. On the peninsula, the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church has five parishes. It's a very delicate situation as it's a small community, tied closely to the Ukrainian ethnicity. Bishop Quill says that some of these communities don't have their own church buildings. Their difficulties are particularly with the rental of spaces for worship and with the movement of clergy back and forth across the Ukrainian border. No. But the church here is not persecuted. Nobody interferes with us. It's very important that we are respected as much as we've got a plot of land for the construction of the cathedral. If things are going according to the law, no one touches us and it's very important. Even the Greek Catholic Church has been registered here. The Catholic Church of the Byzantine Rite, although in Russia, for instance, they do not have registration, but in Crimea, they are registered. Catholics in Simferopol had a beautiful cathedral before the revolution of the Soviets, but it was taken away and repurposed and then eventually destroyed in 1974. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, for almost 30 years, the local community was asking for a plot of land on which to build a new cathedral. And on August the 17th, 2018, thanks to the Vatican's diplomatic efforts, Crimean Catholics got one. Here's a triangle-shaped plot near the shopping mall and the gas station. There is a plan of the cathedral, and here are the two wings of the bishop's curia and a space for pastoral needs. 
and then there are plans for the basement, ground floor and second floor and all the details. We are very pleased with this plot and are asking for prayers and material support for the construction. Bishop Jacek Pwil is planning to finish the building project within three years, but the construction depends on economic resources. After 2014, the Crimean Peninsula has been sanctioned by many Western countries and people are enduring economic repercussions. So the bishop is now looking for help abroad.